crime and how do you make that happen? Well, it, it dissected all forms of conflict, all, all conflict, right down to the family home, by the way. And that was part of the reason they came up with, we must dissolve the family unit. And they, so admit, the and they admit the whole plan is to play men and women off against each other, and they give the cues to men how to behave that'll enrage women, and then they give the women cues to tell them, act like this, you'll be successful. It's really the opposite. Total civilization sabotage. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror, and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, this is Steve Shank and Babs Rosberg with eFoods Direct. Babs, you work a lot with shipping and things are going absolutely nuts with this new Independence Month Patriot Pack that eFoods is giving away. The way things are going, we're shipping thousands of these great little Patriot Packs out. Just an example, Sherry from Arkansas made a $1,300 order. We shipped her five free Patriot Packs, $750 more free food. Folks are really surprised at what we're actually giving away. Now, folks, we've had 235 years of freedom in this country. So for every $235 worth of food ordered, we give away a $149 Patriot Pack free. To order the best food on the planet, call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. A free 12-day supply Patriot Pack with every $235 worth of food ordered. Call 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. A very wealthy U.S. citizen is predicting that in 2011, we will witness the most important day in America in more than 50 years. He says it will change everything about our lives. The way you shop, travel, invest, educate your children, and even how you take care of your health and your own family. Now, this man has made some outrageous predictions over the years. The crazy part is, he's usually right. You see, he predicted the collapse of GM, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and America's biggest mall owner, General Growth Properties. In fact, Barron's called his work a dire prophecy. Recently, he created a video, which you can watch online for free, detailing his biggest and most important prediction yet, and it's a real eye-opener. I can't stress this enough. You should at least watch this free video online today. He explains everything you need to know, including simple steps you can take to protect yourself. You can find the video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica, the number three, dot com. Watch the free video at www.endofamerica3.com. That's endofamerica3.com. From Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Fifty thousand unstoppable Alan Watts. They're cloning him. Look out! <laughs> Look, the globalists want to play God. They want the live extension technologies. They've undoubtedly already have them. Uh, they're now bragging they have them. They're offering uh, extended lives to people now who are, quote, wealthy uh, if they'll buy into transhumanism. But the, but the transhumanist technocratic technological uh, systems they're offering are basically enslavement systems. So that's what the general public's going to get is an enslavement system in the name of life extension. Uh, and we have no idea what the actual controllers are doing. When you see people like Gordon Brown or Bill Clinton 
or George W. Bush or Obama, they're meant to politically rise and fall, be built up and destroyed like a shield that a knight holds up. And the shield gets all bent up and battered and bruised. And then when they're done it for four to eight years, they throw it down and pick up another one. And it's these fundamental things people need to uh, understand. You know, if you uh, look at the news today, uh, they're saying no debt deal. And oh my gosh, now we may default and have depression. They're already defaulting. They're already devaluing the dollar. We're already in a depression. And, and, and the bankers are training us to just everything's about the government. Everything's about the bankers and everything's about our credit regions, uh, the credit agencies uh, uh, ratings. I mean, they're more important now than the president. And then who are they? Revolving door minions of Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan and others. And, and, you know, now the GOP is revolting, just like in 94 with Newt Gingrich, who ended up making sure the contract on America didn't get through. A guy who wrote the foreword to multiple Alvin and Heidi Toffler books calling for world government, calling for a technocracy, calling for the end of America. And, and they talk about how conservative Newt Gingrich is because people say he's conservative when he's promoting carbon taxes. But I got to tell you, 10 years ago, people wouldn't wake up to Newt Gingrich. Today, they do. And so that's the good news. But now they're saying the GOP has revolted. Uh, and uh, isn't going to go along with all this. But, but again, it's all part of this process. And as long as people can be kept in this false narrative, this false reality, as you go up through politics and media, if you show that you'll buy into the false system, you are promoted in the false system. But if you don't go along with the false system, if you question the, 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 the presented reality, then, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. And now, having any opinion is a conspiracy theory. Uh, and Cass Sunstein at the White House says, we'll flood the Internet with false conspiracy theories. We'll flood the Internet with infighting, with bickering. And they're trying to do that. But in the writings of the ruling class is what they really set up. And that's what Alan Watt covers. That's what I cover. Alan continuing uh, looking at the globalist uh, program uh, and operations. I see revolts from people within the technotronic, technocratic class being one of the biggest threats to their system. That's why they're trying to go to an automated global computer system where they don't need armies because it's robot and drone driven. And the robots are worked on by robots and robots work on those robots. And then some human technicians, they already admit no one at a major computer company even knows how the computers work now. Uh, it, it's just different systems integrated together. And uh, the humans can't even understand it. This is going to get more and more uh, pronounced. And the elite are all over the news saying we don't need people anymore. Humans, will humans be kept as pets? And the elite's already talking about the computers like they've already merged with them. And Ray Kurzweil says within 15 years, the elite will merge. But if the evidence is that they're already more advanced than we know, the question is, have they already attempted to merge uh, or is it all a bunch of quackery uh, where they claim that they have these systems, but um, they can't even really use them because they don't understand them? Yeah, well, they already have um, a whole list of things lined up they're working on now. Even um, DARPA has admitted that, Homeland Security. I mentioned that on a page last week. Uh, all the things are coming up and they're working on And one was uh, an artificially uh, intelligent uh, computer system that would literally analyze you and decide even if you should pass the information that you're putting out there onto others or not, or who they should pass it on to. No one would interfere with it. It would be on its own independent. And so they already have artificial intelligent machines using various kinds of uh, different uh, algorithm, algorithms and so on. However, at the top, you've got to understand, too, uh, that uh, they've been doing amazing stuff, even in Sweden, for since the 70s that we know of, on prisoners. That's where they first tried to do a uh, human uh, and, and machine interface, brain interface. This uh, interfacing isn't just to help paraplegics, believe you me, like DARPA would have you think. It's to do with uh, if they can possibly, in the future, or if they've done it already, who knows, download a person's memory. That's the whole point of it all. Uh, for the, for the, the, the ruling elite who, have, uh, who, who age, they can certainly slow their aging. In fact, David Suzuki, a big player in the greening program, 
who's, who calls people maggots, by the way. He, he's the hero of Canada, but people are maggots, but he says there's better kinds of maggots than others. I guess he's referring to his own class. But uh, he said on television years ago, National Television Live, that he says we now, and he is a geneticist, by the way, he says we now have the, the ability to make a person live to 500 years if we want to. Well, why not a thousand or two thousand? The problem is the brain would tend to deteriorate. So the idea, even mentioned years ago in the science magazines, if we could possibly clone, and they said they could, by the way, clone a, a full human being within two weeks, because they can switch on your growth uh, factors and your hormones and so on, make you literally grow up from an embryo into into a, hul, a, a full human in a few weeks. And it, at first they said it was for body parts for special people. Uh, but now it's, it's more into, uh, no, could they possibly take uh, the memory of that aged person, especially the first batch who, who haven't uh, stayed young, put it that way, if they haven't had the treatment for eternal youth, but, but could we possibly take that memory from the aged person and transfer it into a, his own clone? And, uh, and so they've been talking about this and working on it, obviously, and that's what really the, the brain-machine interface has been all about, uh, and again, the spin-offs are amazing because they also say, well, if we can tap into the brain, we, can, we won't need the torture techniques anymore. We, we can plug into you and find out what you're thinking, uh, download all your memories, and uh, they'll know exactly if you've been lying to them or not. Uh, this has all been going ahead as we quietly watch uh, soccer or football or whatever else we're watching, or Lady Gaga dancing with plasticized co uh, corpses. I mean, this is, the, this is the, the reality of where we are. The elite's prime directive is for their own survival. We must always remember that. They have contingency plans for all kinds of things that could go wrong in the world for themselves. We know they've got underground uh, cities even. Uh, they've even had uh, characters in England going around the underground bases, not getting into them, but they admit they're there. And they've had them for years in case there's uh, of all kinds of things, not just nuclear disaster, but possibly oh, an asteroid hitting you. Anything at all they can think of because the elite being at the top of the tree, the evolution tree, is they, they talk about it themselves, that's what they say, uh, the fittest to survive, must make sure, must ensure that their own personal survival comes first. We are all expendable in the process. That's right, and Alan. Sci-fi movies show you that, like 2012, it's always the elite that survive, the rest are sacrificed. Yeah. Absolutely, and expanding on that, just like I knew they were about to move from the Muslim Al-Qaeda to the white terrorist, so the whole apparatus could be turned loose on everyone as it was always built and designed for. Now they're just admitting uh, its uh, true function that uh, they are now preconditioning how sexy it is. The world after humans, TV shows, movies, books on end caps at grocery stores, everyone learning how trendy it is to hate their fellow humans. So when you're SWAT teamed or drug away or dying of cancer, when half your block's dying of something, you know, as the soft kill is incrementally uh, intensified, the ambient uh, uh, slow kill system accelerated uh, towards fast kill, that it's, it's, it's a subconscious preparation of, of a celebration uh, of our destruction uh, and the pot-bellied parasites ruling over us. Um, and I see this now building t towards a crescendo. I know they'll want to release smaller bioplagues first, pose as saviors, use that as an excuse to put in a tighter control grid, and then release even more deadly plagues, and then a tighter control grid, always playing the part of the saviors while they murder us. Uh, but I see them edging towards that, and I see them debating you know, how great it's going to be when the airborne Ebola is released and how great it is that the human mousepox kills 99%, and isn't it time to just go ahead and pull the trigger? Like it's an exciting, sexy, something new for them, and they want to pull the Moonraker trigger. Um, how far away do you think that is till they... I mean, they got all these new movies coming out with Matt Damon about... Billions dying and uh, everything from the new bio plague. So, so uh, how long till they really get to have their holiday, their their mass murder enjoyment time? Because then they get to go to the bunkers and you know be you know given the cure and everything and kind of all be honest about it and watch it on their robotic cameras, the mass destruction, and then they get to reemerge and oh, everything's so much fun. I mean, how long till they till they take the people that they've turned into mindless sports fans and just start? mass slaughtering everybody 
Well, we're, we're in the, the phase now, which they have disclosed from their own military think tanks.